Sirens, distant shouts, and the muted thud of each foot as soul meets earth while Jessica ran. Those were the only sounds in an eerily quiet suburbia. The woman clawing desperately at her as she stumbled, the gunshot, the body hitting the ground. The scene replayed itself in her mind over and over and over. Never a full picture, just flashes of moments. The clawing, the gunshot, the body. A highlight reel of tragedy and trauma. She'd called back to her department repeatedly over the course of her sprint, only to be greeted with silence on the other end. Her vehicle had been swarmed. Bodies climbed all over it, fighting and grasping at one another, ripping flesh from bone, forced on her feet. That was her only mode of travel. But between the flashes of misery only hours old, crept in the thoughts that drove her on her feet back home. Her brother. It was two weeks ago when they saw the breaking news from West Point, but details were all but non-existent. Some disease had apparently broken out, but all was promised it had been contained. But now, doubt crept in. Two-story brick homes with yard space to spare streaked past her, finding herself eventually at the end of a road, and her brother's new home met her gaze. Her sprint came to an abrupt stop, taking a moment to catch her breath. Nobody was running through the streets out here. All was calm in stark contrast to downtown. Through his front windows, boxes stacked upon one another were still visible. He hadn't even finished unpacking yet. Please be home, she whimpered before breaking out into a sprint again. Please, 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 please. again, but the time still escapes her. She's not sure how far or how long into the day she slept, but she's not going to let that stop her. There are still buildings to scour and food to collect. The world isn't going to feed her for her. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody. And we are going to continue heading to the south, ideally. Uh, those houses were relatively uh, unoccupied, and though there were certainly uh, some problem uh, with zombies the further we went out the uh, it still really wasn't all that bad so let's go ahead and grab a bell pepper and I wonder if uh, I don't think I can here let's grab let's just grab the zucchini zucchini is not gonna give us a ton I don't think but we'll eat a quarter and we'll see what happens in the meantime we'll go ahead and put away the book Ooh, eating and eat, eating, eating and walking is a very difficult task. That did not at all satiate my hunger. Let's eat another quarter of it. Maybe a half of it will be enough. If not, we might have to grab some more food. Nothing. All right, well, let's eat the rest of it then. There we go. A whole zucchini for breakfast. Well, it's not a cabbage, but it'll do. I'm hoping there's nobody out here. Nobody's made their way over to my property. How's our skills looking as well? Sprinting is almost at level one, which is nice. Nimble's about to hit level two. Light-footed, sneaking, all that's looking good, but it seems like we're pretty clear on the zombie front. Did I check this shed over here? Let's find out. Yes, I must have. If it's open, then yeah, for sure. Okay. Let's pop over the fence and see where else we can find ourselves. I know sprinting is incredibly loud, but we're lucky. There's not a lot of zombies over here. 
It's been relatively quiet. I guess we could head this... Well, we know that leads back up. We could go down this road and see if there's any houses or anything down here, but it seems like it might just be... It just might be open field. So the only place we could go is a place we kind of abandoned, saying it was not worth it. Already hungry. Okay, we came through here, so we went north and looped around. We're starting to find out where we are. Let's see if they broke those doors down overnight. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. I want to come down here first, actually. The trailer park had a few people still. A few zombies around it. We checked this one, but I don't know. I think we left the other one. Yeah, we killed the one that was in here. Yep. Oh, I can hear him. Ooh. There's at least two? Because one is banging on a door or something in here. Here, let's clear. See if we get uh, her attention. I wish I could get her attention without having to go in there. Because I'd rather not get close. Here, let's smash. Back up. Okay. Let's let her swing. Down. We're like at maximum range, I think. But that worked. Military camo shorts. Not super valuable in the moment. Let's swing to this side and make sure we're on in the clear over here as well. It sounds like we have more than one. If we get, let's get a side view. I can't. I don't think there's another one there. All right, we're gonna go in from behind. Yeah. Quietly approaching from the back. We'll just stomp on her legs until she dies. Here. There we go. Just open the door in the middle. <gasps> Ooh, military boots. Good. Wow, they have uh, some good stuff. Here, let's go ahead and replace our sneakers currently. Now, it's going to slow us down very, very significantly, but I'm down to take it. Let's turn this on. I would like to go to Life and Living and see if it's on. I don't know about you, but when I golf with my buddies... There's always the special moment. You get your clubs out of the trunk, your friend does the same. And you compare, right? Till I bought a set of Ivanos clubs! Okay, it's a commercial. I think we just missed it. Here, let's clear this out and let's see, maybe we'll see if anything pops up of this. But at the very, 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 very least. Do we have, I can't remember if we have a can opener. I'll definitely take the bowl, we're gonna have to fill it. Ooh, new station. This is Phil Hardup, today coming to you direct from the White House. The President has just addressed the nation, and truths have been told. Yet still, a curfew announced for tonight in many major cities. It's time to face facts. It is time to settle down. We only ask for your responsible actions as an American citizen. I personally take responsibility for the perceived lack of communication and for the rumor mongering that has grown around the so-called Knox event. At this time, we have no reason to believe residents of Kentucky will not recover. However, as the picture clears and more information is made available, its likelihood is starting to recede. We have been hesitant to discuss specifics, yes, but with reason. The Knox event is contained, but its panic and confusion are not. We wanted to establish facts, but public alarm has not provided enough time. From 6 p.m. tonight, there will be curfews in some of our biggest cities. 
This is for your protection. Please do not leave your house. Please have faith in both our military and our emergency services. I ask our journalistic community to report responsibly. We are examining all potential potentialities. I will update you whenever we have new information. We've been told to direct you to local programming for curfew information. It's going to be a long night. WBLN, your news, your station. Well, that's not promising now, is it? Unfortunate. The government's still lying to the people, it seems, and that definitely stresses out our hero here. But there's very little she can do about it, at least right now. Let's go ahead and fill everything up. And let's see if we can grab some quick food here. If they're hiding things, then things must be bad. Let's have some ice cream. Is this the smart decision? No. But after hearing the news on the radio, can't help. Can't help but worry. Ice cream goes a long way to helping that worry. Damn sugar rush. Always good. Well, I'm actually glad we came here. Whoa. I think the TV drew a crowd. Well, let's get to crouching mode. There's a car and some more up here. We're going to go up here and we're going to check these out. I'm hoping that these are uh, going to be uh, empty. <laughs> if the windows aren't broken, door open. Rounding the corner with pipe in hand, though, ready to fight anything. Okay. It does look clear. Ooh, is that a... That, I think, is broken. Nope. And the bedroom is, first of all, really hospital-like. That's a whole lot of white. I do not know if that's how I'd want to sleep. Just looking like I'm in a sterile-ass room. Let's pop the window if we can. I think these windows open. Yep. I'm just... I don't know if these things can have house alarms. I think they could in the old versions. Bag of concrete powder. A fresh banana, which we will also eat. Gotta balance out that ice cream. And a can of tuna. Let's bag up a couple things as well. Dirty sneakers, which we definitely need to wash. We'll put them in the bag. We'll put the shoes in the bag as well. Tuna. Mug, which we can get some water in at some point. Anything, anything we can collect water in right now is is a priority. I do wonder, can I put... Can I put fill it a baking pan? I cannot. I thought maybe. I really want to check that bedroom, though. Adhesive bandage. Vitamins. I already have some tweezers, so we're good there. But the bedroom had a, a great-looking library. I could be getting uh, debated, but yeah, debated. Still, n absolutely no backpacks yet. That is frustrating. Yeah, they've all wandered their way over to where that where the TV was on. That was kind of a stupid idea. To be fair to myself and to all the people who are telling me that was a stupid idea, but. I really wanted to uh, check it out. Ooh, rain. I have heard the rain kills FPS. There's a new rain system, so we'll see what happens. It, like water collects in puddles and stuff. I didn't, I should be leaving out, I should leave out saucepans and the like to start collecting rainwater and being ready to, getting ready to boil them. Just doing a quick check. Nothing leaning up against anything. Boxes that could be- ooh, ooh, is that blood? I think there's a blood, there could be something that happened in here. Alright, let's be quiet. Ooh, there's a TV on in there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. 
She pleads with herself as she tries the windows. If one could open. Uh, there we go. In. Close it. And we will go ahead and turn this off. All right. A clock would be good too, by the way. A watch, yeah, there's blood on this bed. Somebody died here. Boxes are empty. Let's turn this light off. I mean, a sheet's not necessarily bad, but it could weigh us down if we want to make sure we're taking more food. Bag of plaster powder. Huh. Uh, I don't want to be carrying too much. We're kind of under a fairly heavy load already. That very well could come back and bite me in the ass, and it's... Uh, I gotta take these. How much does this weigh? Watermelon, three pounds? All right, let's see what happens. I think we head back. I think we just head back and come back for the watermelon. We're already under a bit heavy of weight, and it's gonna be raining. I wonder if our clothes will wash in the rain, though. Do we want to check to see if there's a key in the vehicle? If there's a key, we might be able to drive back. Uh, hello? There we go. Oh, we're in. No key. Uh... I want out real quick. I was pretty sure there was a woman coming. Oh, they're getting very distracted. It's got a tire. There's alcohol wipes, which is nice, but I want to take a look at this thing, because this might be a future target for us here. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's a bit, that's a bit rough. All right, let's get into sneak mode and let's try and get out of here quickly and quietly. The rain is kind of serendipitous in its arrival. Uh, it causes noise, so it's gonna distract zombies, so we might be able to crouch, sneak, and jog out of here a little safer than we normally would. We're starting to get a little tired and exerted, but that's okay. I'm glad we finished this off. This bloody murder scene is looking like a mess with all the other zombies in the nearby area now. Okay. I think we're just gonna bust out this way and cut through the woods here. And we should have a clear shot back. There's that body that I've kind of been using as a marker to know that I'm here. And Jess keeps it in mind as well. Alright, let's walk. And that's a familiar fence. All we need to do is hop over and we're home. It's not that far. Not that far at all. I thought it was actually a much further trip, but it seems we're good. We're gonna go ahead and push ourselves a bit on this. Mainly to keep the exp EXP flowing as much as possible. And we can actually sit on the floor and rest now. Which is nice. So we never have to find just a chair to bring our uh, exertion back from the brink. Surprised we haven't gotten too wet yet. Whew. We lived. We need to empty our inventory ASAP, so let's get to it. Well, since it's raining... Oh man, look at that. That's neat. That's a nice little effect. I think we can leave things on the ground, so let's start collecting some water. Yep, tainted, unsafe for drinking, sterilized by boiling an oven or on fire, which we can use our oven for now. So we'll just keep on doing that. And we'll let those catch for a while. I wonder if I could leave the kettle out as well. I doubt it, but maybe? No. It's enclosed, and you can't unpop it, I guess, so. Unless you can. Unless I can right click on it. Nope. 
All right, well, while those are catching water, we can rest, so let's go ahead and rest. It took a while for her to catch her breath, but here we are. Wow! That's cool. I wonder if it'll eventually wash away the blood. We're full, so let's go ahead and grab our things of water. And we can go ahead and boil them. So let's go ahead and put the saucepan in the oven. In oven or over a fire. So can I just turn this on then? Does it just happen over time? Okay, it's getting red. Ah, there it is. So I can just turn this off. Saucepan with water. Grab, quick, grab it with your bare hands. Oh, uh, for a minute I thought it showed that I got injured and I'm like, oh my god. But nope, we're good. I'm gonna just put this mug of water in there, because I don't know, you're not supposed to put a mug in the oven. I don't know if that's something that, you know, you can actually do or not, but you shouldn't. The other thing I could do is use the toilet. Fill the kettle with toilet water. Always a great idea. Can I use the tub? I can. Perfect. We didn't use the tub, so... I mean, we didn't use the toilet, so, you know, it's fine. Doesn't say it's poison, so I'm trusting the game not to lie. Toilet water was always clean in the older builds, too. And we've got our water bottle. All right. So it's late, but I don't know... what more we want to be doing with this much rain. Staying out is dangerous. We can catch a cold. The slaughter over there. What is... We know further where that goes, actually. Uh, there's a solo one. Wait, what happened over here? Or have I not checked up here yet, and I'm just dumb? Alright, let's zoom in a little bit here. Let's start getting ready to fight. Oh, there's a... Skeleton just completely eaten. You have your full, woman. Hmm? Was it delicious? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get back. She nommed down. I somehow whiffed completely. Let's back up. We're good. Uh, let's look at our clothing. Our jacket might have been the thing that saved us there, honestly. I don't know how we whiffed that first one, but we did. It's pouring out. It's absolutely pouring out. One, two, three. But there could be four. If I can get one and draw them. Hey. Ooh, 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 he's getting up. Ooh, he saw me. Interesting the one that was sitting down saw me, and now she's probably attracted to his noise, so... Let's get in close. Come on. Get back up. I cannot believe he actually took that much of a beating. Hmm. I'm very nervous to get much closer than this. He's faster, so I'm going to draw him away. Oh, he just died. Okay, he went down. Beat him. Hit him in the shoulder. Oh, no, no, no! Come on. Get on the ground. That was not fun. Let's put this on the ground real quick. Nothing in the bag. Okay. Ah, uh, and they've been drawn. Okay, this is not bad, though. We're not really all that wet. He's got, it looks like a hand fork stuck in his gut.
Okay, I'll do- I'll definitely take that. Stomp on his face, his skin immediately peels away. Last one. That one went way better. Now, are we alone? No. Another four up there. Number one came out of here, so... Don't be surprised. I hate this. Okay. Saucepans. We gotta get out of here. I can hear groaning close. Maybe behind. I didn't case this building and I should have. Yep. Didn't look like there was anything there. There's just a lot of uh, undead over here. I think we have to consider this our tap out and we move. It's not a far walk. It's not like it's going to take me forever to get back here. And uh, that was a very, very close call with getting bit right on the shoulder. I'm sure there was a brief moment of panic as they lunged forward and teeth met clothes, but there was enough padding there to resist and keep her relatively safe. Doesn't look like the rain actually washes off the blood. I guess we should put these out. Start collecting. And from here, I'm quite content with grabbing our first aid book and having a nice read instead of going anywhere else, and then we'll f we'll do the carpentry one after for that second level carpentry. Um, let's pound the soda, or maybe just half the soda. Actually, no, yeah, you're good. The book has been finished, and she's feeling a little tired now. But enough time has passed where it seems, yes, all four pans have been filled with water. Wait, what? Did all four saucepans just turn into one saucepan? No. No, no, I'm just a big dum-dum. We'll put the saucepans in the oven for now. We will not use it or boil it, not when we're tired and not when it's dark. That feels like a, a poor life decision. I like how she puts all of them in there at once. And for dinner, let's just eat the whole leek. Mmm, delicious. So we'll swap books. Now that this is done, we should be getting a nice XP boost. And we can start on the carpentry book when it's not so dark out. What a chaotic day. Rest.